Inside Edition with Deborah Norval. Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us. The man they called Amnesia Al is no longer in search of an identity, but though he knows who he is, the man who went on national television in hopes that someone would recognize him is still in search of answers. The biggest, how did he end up 1,400 miles away from his last known stop? Les Trent has his incredible story. He can't remember anything, not even what he likes for breakfast. Pancakes, everybody loves pancakes. Today, a man known for weeks only as Amnesia Al is coming to terms with his real identity, meeting family members and even a fiancé he doesn't recognize. He turned up in Denver last month. The only clues to his identity were a Brazil baseball cap, an expensive watch, and a distinctive ring. He was quickly diagnosed as suffering from a rare form of total amnesia called dissociative fugue. A dissociative fugue is when a person loses touch with reality and they don't know who they are, they don't know what's going on, they're not aware of their surroundings. It's an echo of a plot line unfolding on Desperate Housewives as Terry Hatcher tries to help James Denton snap out of his amnesia. This is where we sat in your truck and had our first kiss. In desperation, Al appeared on national TV to appeal for anyone who knows him to come forward. If anybody recognizes me, knows who I am, please let somebody know. Within hours, his future wife, Penny Hansen, sent police this picture of her missing fiancé, a match for the mystery man. Now we know his name. He is Jeffrey Allen Ingram, and he lives in Olympia, Washington. His fiancé says his family has been desperately searching for him. I have contacted Denver police and gave them pictures of me and Jeff, and everybody is watching. His family and friends here are watching and very excited that he's been found. Incredibly, he experienced a similar episode of amnesia in 1995 and was missing for nine months. It is recoverable with a lot of therapy, a lot of talk therapy to get out of what's really bothering them. Experts say dissociative view affects about two in every 1,000 people.